Hello, it's Marnie Old, the Boisse Sommelier, and I'm here to talk to you today about one of my absolute favorite wine styles on earth, and one that I never expected to see in the Boisse collection because it comes from Hungary. Now this wine hasn't even technically even arrived here yet, so I can't show you a glass or taste it with you on camera, but I did want to take a moment to explain to you what Tokai from Hungary is all about because it's a unique and fascinating wine. Tokai, T-O-K-A-J-I, is the name of a wine from a town called Tokai, T-O-K-A-J. So T-O-K-A-J-I is always the wine. And when you see a second word after that, Asu, A-S-Z-U, you know it's a dessert wine that is made with botrytis fruit. And anyone who's familiar with great dessert wines, whether those are the Sauternes of Bordeaux in France, or whether those are late harvest wines from California, or even ice vines, or Auslese from Germany knows that Botrytis cinerea, which is a fungus that infects the skins of overripe grapes after the normal harvest period, what they do, that fungus, it acts to weaken the skins and allow the internal moisture in the grapes to start to evaporate out through the poked holes in the skin caused by the fungus. So what happens is that grapes that were full of water and sugar and acids and flavor compounds start to shrivel and resonate faster on the vine than they normally would because their skins have been weakened by this fungus. There's a reason why the French call it noble rot though, because this fungus adds extraordinary complexity of flavor and almost saffron-like dimension of complexity to the flavor of these hyper-concentrated raisinated grapes. And the most special thing about Botrytis is that the fruit Fruit, while it's shriveling, is not dead and getting oxidized the way a raisin would if you just picked the grape off the vine and let it dry in the sun the way they do for so many dessert wines in southern regions of Europe. No, no, no. Botrytis is how northern, colder climate regions of Europe make spectacular, succulent, rich, candy-like dessert wines that have so much character. Because what's happening concentrates the fruit without removing the grape from the life forces of the vine. So its acidity is sustained and this, that element, the combination of sweetness in the grapes and sweetness in the wine and the sharp acidity from natural fresh grapes, that is the balancing act that all great wines that want to be sweet have to achieve. They have to find a way of having extra acidity to balance out the sweetness that's present. Otherwise, sweetness alone in wine just feels cloying and unpleasant on the palate. So what makes Hungarian Tokai special? It is an extraordinarily high sugar content paired with an exceptionally high acidity content in white wine from a village in Hungary called Tokai. The grape is called Furmint, F-U-R-M-I-N-T, and the village is called Tokai, and the wine is absolutely spectacular.